In today's video, we will learn about the Synaptic Package Manager that stands out as one of the most widely used package managers in the Linux community. So let's learn the reason behind this along with its features, key components, installation process and so on. And don't forget to check the description for the comments and article of this video. The Synaptic Package Manager is a lightweight graphical user interface and it allows users to install, remove and upgrade software packages on their Ubuntu system in a user-friendly and graphical manner. Also, it provides a way to explore available packages, search for specific software and manage dependencies between different packages. If you start with Synaptic, you will see a window and the window components are menu bar, toolbar, status bar, category sector and the package list. Now let's have a look at its key components. Usage. It serves a graphical front-end for APT utilized in Debian and Debian-based Linux distributions. File extension. The file extension of Synaptic Package Manager is .deb and sometimes .rpm. Key features. Its key features enable the installation, removal and upgrading of packages and are notably preferred by users who appreciate its user-friendly graphical interface. Synaptic is the combination of apt-get and GUI. Let's explore its main features. Installing, removing and upgrading specific and multiple packages. Providing forced installation of a specific package. Performing smart upgrades. Locking a specific version of the package. Showing all the online packages while searching. Fixing the broken dependencies of a package. Searching for a package. Showing the information of a package. Managing the repositories, downloading the change log, and showing the list of all packages by section, status, and custom filters. Now, I will provide examples for each feature to facilitate a proper understanding of using the package manager. Synaptic package manager does not come by default, and you have to install it with apt or apt-get. To install, run the command sudo apt install synaptic hit enter providing my password pressing y to continue and the package manager is installed now i will demonstrate synaptic's ability to easily install packages a common function of package managers at first to launch the Synaptic Manager, run the command sudo synaptic, hit enter and the package manager is launched. Now to install a package with Synaptic, click on the search and the search dialog box has been appeared. Type the package name. I am typing ZFS and now click on search. You can see it shows all the packages related to the ZFS package. So now choose a package, do right click and select the mark for installation. These are the additional packages that is also known as dependencies. So now click on mark again and then apply. Again apply and the process has begun. So now click on close and the ZFS package has been added to your system. If you need to install a specific package version on the installed higher version of the package, then search for the package first. Select this package, now click on package, then here you can see force version, click on this, now click on the drop down arrow and here you will see the available versions, select as your preference, after that click on the force version and it's done. And then you have to follow the previous steps for installation, right click, mark for installation, then click on apply and again apply, now click on close and it's done. Sometimes you may not see the force version option for a specific package. For example, if I search for Team Viewer, click on this, and here you can see the force version option is not available. It is because it has only one version. That means when a package has only one version, then the force version will not be available. You can use the remove option to uninstall or remove unnecessary packages. 
First, choose a package, then do right click and select the mark for removal option. Now click on apply, again click on apply and it's done. The curl has been removed from your system. If you want to delete a package with its configuration files, you can use the mark for complete removal option. For that, you have to select a package, then do right click and select the mark for complete removal. Now click on apply, then again click on apply and the process has begun. Now click on close and it's done. Team viewer is removed from your system. To upgrade packages and also the whole system, you can also use this package manager. To upgrade, at first reload your system, then click on status. Here you will see all installed packages with the installed upgradable packages. Now click on installed. Now select your preferred package. Do right click and then click on mark for upgrade. As all my systems packages are already upgraded, this option is not available for me. But in your case, it might be available if the package is not upgraded. After selecting the mark for upgrade, you have to click on apply and after that follow the steps as shown before. Thus your package will be upgraded. If you want to upgrade the whole system, then reload your system first. Now click on mark all upgrades. As my system is upgraded already, no packages has been marked. But in your system, it will mark all upgradable packages and after that you have to click on apply and then follow the same steps as shown before. To lock a version of a package, at first select the package, then click on package. Here you can see the lock version option. Click on this and thus the version for this package has been locked. If you lock the version, it will not upgrade the package when you upgrade the whole system. To get the information of a specific package, again select a package, then do right click and click on properties. And you can see a dialog box that contains all information about this package. And in the information panel, you can choose any other option to see the dependencies and the installed files. You can also locate or search for a package using this manager. First, click on search and type the package name and hit enter. And here you can see all the packages related to Nano. And if you want to use the filter option, then you can search for filters. Hit enter and it will show all the filters on your system. Again, to show all the filters, click on the settings, then filters. And it will open a new window. From the window, you can see the current, marked and other filters. One can easily add or delete filters by pressing the new or delete button. If there are any broken dependencies, then you can fix the package. For that, you have to click on custom filters, then click on broken. This will open all the broken dependencies. And if you have no broken dependencies, then the list will be blank like mine. And if there are any broken dependencies, then you have to select that, do right click and then select the mark for reinstallation. For example, suppose this is the broken package for my system. So I have selected this, now doing right click and here you can see the mark for reinstallation option. You have to click on this, then click on apply and then do the same like before. And by doing all this, you can be able to fix the broken dependencies issue. If you want to list all the packages, click on the status button and then you can see the list of all packages, installed packages, upgradable packages and the packages that are not installed. So by clicking on the each option on the left side, you can see the list of the packages. Repository management is very easy with this package manager. It includes adding repository to the list, enabling and disabling the repository. To add the repository, first click on the settings and then repositories. Now click on other software, then click on add 
and here you have to provide the repository link. Now click on add source. Now click on close and reload. And it's done. To verify again click on settings, then repositories. Now clicking on other software. And you can see the flat remix repository has been added to the system. To enable a repository, click on the settings, then repositories. Now go to the other software and check the box of that repositories you want to enable. Now click on close and reload. And thus the repository will be enabled. To disable any repository, again click on settings, then go to repositories. Now click on other software and uncheck the repository box. Now click on close and then reload again. The system is reloaded. Let's check. Again clicking on settings, then repositories. Now click on other software. And look the flat remix repository is unchecked. That means this repository is disabled. So now clicking on close. To download the change log. Select a package, then click on package option. Here you can see the download change log option. Click on this. And thus you can see the complete change log of the latest version. To remove or uninstall the Synaptic package manager, when you don't need it, run in the terminal sudo apt remove synaptic. And hit enter. Why to continue? and the package manager has been removed. So this concludes our easy guide on Synaptic Package Manager in Linux. Explore the simplicity of repository control, effortlessly retrieve package details and stay tuned for more tips to enhance your Linux journey. Goodbye.